Well, one Pasco County dry cleaning business has left customers hanging out to dry, and this afternoon deputies were seen investigating 199 cleaners in Land Lakes. We first told you about 199 cleaners after customers said the doors closed, and now it's been months since they dropped off their clothing and have not gotten it back. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller joins us live in Land Lakes after speaking with a former employee, Brittany. Stacey, Josh, good afternoon to you both. A former employee came here to the 199 business right behind me today to help investigators open the cash registers. She says no one has been able to get a hold of the owner. Investigators seen combing through clothing on racks at 199 cleaners in Lando Lakes. It's a huge mess in there. Like, even I, who, you know, I worked here for like five years, I don't even know where to start in there. A former employee says when she was working here from 2016 to 2021, the business never had any problems. But six months ago, that changed, prompting the Pasco County Sheriff's Office to launch an investigation. A lot of people that were like regular customers, like I'm... Like they were here for like ever. Um, they're saying even their stuff um, has been like kept hostage in there. Jacob Cannon had been a loyal customer for the past decade. He turned to eight on your side after paying for his clothes to be dry cleaned and never getting them back. I've had the last two orders where, um, you know, they told me that it was going to be done in a certain period of time. I come back and um, and they say it's not gonna it's not done yet why is this going on where are our clothes are we going to get them back the pasco county sheriff's office says it's investigating the closure of the business and did not share any other information from what i heard from when i was here originally it was definitely a staffing issue um he couldn't keep people on the counters we have just learned that the Pasco County Sheriff's Office has launched a website to help get customers reunited with their belongings. We'll be posting that link on our website, WFLA.com. In the meantime, both the phone and the website for this business are both inactive, and we have not been able to get a hold of the owner. Reporting live this afternoon in Pasco County, Brittany Muller, 8 on your side.